Hello everybody, this is uh, Mr. Brown, and today we are going to learn how to draw a basic house. Autofocus should be our friend here in a second. Come on, autofocus. There we go. Cool. So, today with the basic house, what we're going to do is, just like before when we drew our squares, I'm just going to draw a rectangle here in the middle, and draw a rectangle kind of off to the side, and another rectangle over here. Now when we did our grid for our squares, we set up so we had trapezoids that went on either side, but in the middle we didn't see them. We'll do the same thing here, except we're going to make really long trapezoids. They kind of feel like they're the same length as our side here. Just going to use two diagonal lines, a line there, and boom, we've got these shapes. This one looks like it's in the middle, and these two look like they're off to the side. Well, now I'm going to add a second story to my little house by adding another little rectangle. And I'm going to add a roof. Just a basic triangle on top. Nothing too fancy. Maybe go in and add a little wooden support here for the roof. A little cantilever support we're going on. And then we're going to go in and just add a little door right here off to the side so it's not in the middle. And add some texture. Make it look like rocks. I'd use them kind of circles and, and kind of round rectangles. Because rocks are the awesomest shape. Because you can just go for making a circle and mess up. And you're like, ah, it's just a rock. That's fine. We got it. So we got this going on. You don't want to make them too the same. You want to add some differences there. Otherwise, people are going to think eh, you kind of cheated and made your rocks into circles. Oh, well. So we got the door. Here we go. We can add a little fancy door here. Maybe add a little window up here. And windows can be all sorts of sizes. They could be circles. They could be triangles, they could be anything you want. And up here I'm just going to add some little texture. Sort of like my fish scale texture, but for my roof. I'm just going in real fast. It, if you want to make it more a little better, you can. You know, if you want to make it perfect, you can definitely do that. So let's do the same thing for this house. Let's make a second story. Let's add our triangle. Now, we're going to add another story over here, too. We're just going to make it about double the size and then draw a diagonal line. We're going to draw a little line coming out that way. Draw a diagonal line. And if maybe add some texture for the roof on the side, since we can see little bumps on there. And we'll add our roof texture. Mr. Brown, you're not going very nice on that. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you could do a better roof texture than that. Let's go ahead and add our door. And I'm going to make our, my door happen over here then on this house. Here we go. Can add our rocks. Just going to make the rocks get bigger as they come closer to me. I'm about to stay the same size over here. Yeah, a chicken coop if we wanted to. Here we go. see the side of that chicken coop too. We'll give it a little roof. There we go. Maybe put a little chicken right here. What's cool about drawing chickens is nobody can really tell it's not just a scribble. You'd be like, that's a chicken. The chickens move around so much that they'll have to believe you. Alright. So, maybe put a couple windows here. Now, if I put a window on this side, it's going to have to be diagonal, like there. So I'm going to put a little small line and a large line, and then connect them with diagonals. And it looks like a really cool looking window. Maybe make a circle window over here. And we can do the same thing on this side. Make our flat shape. But what if we want to make this one a little different? What if maybe this person has a little extra money, or grandma moves in, they have to add a little new part of the house. So they add a little 
addition there. We still got the triangle roof over here. Now we've got our little grandma's attic. Okay, still do a little line and a diagonal line going down. Solo off this way and diagonal line going down. So we have that little overhang for our house. We can shade that in if we want to. There's probably a lot of shadow there. Still going to make my bumps for my roof. But now, I'm going to make a triangle here. And I'm going to kind of finish the triangle off connecting to that spot there. So now I've got this little extra part. Can add a little giant window. Grandma loves giant windows. Everybody else gets tiny windows. Only grandma gets the good window. Still do the thing, big line up here, small line down there. Connect them with diagonals. Where should we put the entrance? I'm gonna say, let's, let's put the entrance over here. Dad put Grandma over on the long, far side of the house. I don't think they get along sometimes. <laughs> there we go. The little door. And maybe instead of a chicken coop, we've got a duck outhouse. Because this can be from old-fashioned times. Maybe indoor plumbing is just not a thing that's there yet. Pull some diagonal lines and shapes on that side of that house. We can go ahead and shade that in. Just add some shadow. And our rocks. Maybe they ran out of rocks and we can add some brick right here. And then some more rocks. Somebody shopped at like the discount market for rock and brick. You can throw some brick here on the edges. Brick is just really easy. It's just like rocks, except it's rectangles. And you know what? I even have to fill in all the hole texture. People will still see it. Well, let's go and do our roof texture now. Oh, I know. I'm super sloppy with my roofs, but I don't care. I think it still looks good. If we want, we can change what kind of roof tiles are up here. And like, this guy just really doesn't use the same materials in his house. He's not a grid builder. Maybe it's like the Weasleys, and they added a, another house part right here. Could be like the Weasley Burrow. Because Cousin Ed moved in. we got to add another spot. Now, we have a big line here, so we need to put a little line further away. We're going to have connect out this way and maybe we'll add some more supports maybe we'll add another little part of the house kind of going this way I'm just going to put that in shadow just so it looks a little bit more 3D well, let's go and give this guy a round roof just for the fun of it And even with a round roof, that's still going to be a straight line going diagonally. Throw a little ladder in here so Cousin Eddie can get to his uh, door that they put up on a porch. A little porch up here. Give him a little window. Maybe make some wood paneling on the sides here. Just lines going that way. Sort of like bricks, but really long. There we go. We've got a really fun 3D house. That now has a tower to it. Because why not? Let's just draw a little tower. Draw a trapezoid on top. Draw a really big triangle there. Maybe this guy was a castle builder, and they had an extra tower, and he, so he took it home, so his uh, his sister-in-law could move in. Go at a 
add some roof texture. You can create all sorts of fun stories for all these houses. Like, this guy is definitely building all sorts of weird stuff going on. But, you know what? Fun stories turn into houses that have character. And this house is a lot more interesting of a drawing than this house. Or even this house. Now, which one's better? That's, that's up to you. But this one is probably more accurate. This one's a lot more fun. And let's go for more fun. That's always fun. All right, there we go. How to draw houses, basic houses, 3D houses, and uh, a little bit crazy house like Ron Weasley houses. All right, there we go. Enjoy.